Welcome back to another episode of Control the Chaos Mama, life and launch strategy for the ADHD entrepreneur, the creative rebel, and the overwhelmed mom. So this is the podcast for you if you are looking to gain some traction, to gain some follow through, to finally do the thing, and to really look at the things that are holding you back. This is going to be a perfect start to the Break Free series that we are working on. And today's is all about breaking through, breaking free from the upper limit problem, the self-sabotage, the things that are keeping us stuck. And so today we're gonna start all about how to really figure out what the upper limit problem is and how we can push through. So this is a phrase that was coined by Gay Hendricks. He's author of The Big Leap. Check it out if you haven't already. And he coins the upper limit problem as our tendency to cap our own positive energy due to an imaginary limit. It's a self-imposed limit, and the good news is it is imaginary. So this boundary can, in fact, be pushed through if we just stop and gain some self-awareness and ultimately know why it's there and address it. So that's how you can break through it. Self-awareness. You can alert yourself to what you are doing. So it's kind of like this big map. Think of the malls or maybe Kings Island. We live by Kings Island. Um, And you go to the map to figure out like where you are. Like you are here. You need to find out where you are so you can know where to, how to get out of the maze, kind of, right? So this is going to help you to know what is keeping you stuck. So you must first know what the situation is, essentially where you are, before you know where you want to go. And think of this as that, that big you are here st- step. And that's such a, a, it sounds so easy, right? But the, that step, a lot of times we miss. So if you are trying to lose weight, that's the step where you are taking a picture, you're taking your measurements, you're finding out um, how do you feel? How do I, you know, like, where am I at now? Like, what are my numbers now? Like, what are my um, ways I feel? Like, what is, how, how do I, you know, like maybe that's endurance. Like you're trying to figure out, how many of something you can do in a minute? How do you feel when you walk up the steps? Whatever that looks like in business or in relationships or whatever it could be. Maybe you're just trying to think of once it gets to a certain point, I end up sabotaging by, for instance, in business, spending all the money I have or by um, shifting and pivoting to a whole different business model or business in general And so maybe there's something that is helping you to stay stuck. And so have you ever maybe wanted to develop a course or something and then you just, it can never be done. Like you're going to be constantly working on it to fine tuning it. There's always something. Maybe in a relationship, this could look like you are, um, everything's going really well. And then all of a sudden you are, um, getting real suspicious about is he cheating is in or is I don't know like there's some sort of blow up that is going to happen to where you are finding maybe problems that aren't even there and so the good news is is you can push past this and break three through this and I think it is with words and so after you build self-awareness you can process the emotions that are self-sabotaging you and talk about your feelings now If this sounds scary, write it in a journal or talk to a trusted friend. Key word there is trusted. Not everyone has really earned the right to weigh in on this, okay? So this is not something you go and dump in a Facebook group. It is a trusted friend or maybe even a professional to process the cost of the self-sabotage, to figure out and define your fears. And being vulnerable is scary and doing a process called Fear setting can help. If you've never heard of fear setting, it is adopted by Tim Ferriss um, and it can help you to stop self-sabotaging and process your fears. And so this is especially helpful if you are having some fear-based paralysis and this is an exercise where you can define, prevent, and repair your fears. And I think this really helps the mind chatter around the thing. So if you're asking yourself, what if... What if I up my prices and no one buys? What if I do this thing and, you know, everyone, I don't know, fill in the blank, you know? So I want you to think of the what ifs and you essentially define the fears. You figure out ways, okay, if this happened, how would I 
prevent, how can I prevent that from happening? And then ultimately, if it does happen, how can I repair this? And so think of this as a chart with like a piece of paper divided into three, and you are putting it out in the world and on paper to where you can get it out of your mind and in front of you. And the process itself was actually inspired by the Stoic philosopher Seneca the Younger, and you can find out more on um, Tim Ferriss's um, website. He actually also has a podcast, so go check it out. And it's all about self-sabotage. So we are working on breaking free in this Break Free series. So what in the world is self-sabotage? We have to know what it is we're trying to break free from in order to actually do it. So self-sabotage is when we actively or passively take steps to prevent ourselves from reaching certain goals. And it occurs whenever we are hindering our own success and well-being like undermining your it's like having someone like like there is someone in the, on the team that is the rat or something that is like okay I see that you're about to do this thing that's really scary so I'm going to keep you safe and I'm going to undermine these goals in, that you have that are going to make you uncomfortable and stretch you and it's in those stretches that you actually are able to make these big strides towards the things that you ultimately want. And so how in the world can we break free from that? And I think we said already self-awareness and, you know, wrapping words around it. And then also I want you to prepare with talking to a trusted friend or a professional, and that is going to help you to really have that. It's all about self-awareness. And then next, I want you to actually Use something similar to that in defining your own gifts. And so I think realizing that you are worthy, that you have these skills, that you can embrace the authority that is yours is going to be a huge thing that can help us. And so no more self-imposed limits. Um, This can be seen, I think, for me in putting myself around like-minded people, whether that is a mastermind, whether that's doing some sort of course that has the accountability or like something I'm going through with other people who also need help with this. And so this can help you to take action and to push through so that you don't stop because it's accountability ultimately. And so I think that this inner thermostat, so to speak, that it tells us how much we love, how much success we can have, how much creativity that we can allow in our day is is going to make it to where we can actually <laughs> accept the reading. Do you know what I mean? And so it's almost like you keep turning on the heat or turning on the air whenever everything is fine. Okay. Like the temperature's fine. Chill out. Go and rest in a hammock. <laughs> but what this is, is really doing is it's putting our old beliefs versus the positive feeling and you get to decide which one wins. And so if you are finding that you are letting outward experiences um, kind of influence that, you need to surround yourself by peop- with people who can help to bring you back. So a- build a community. You can actually build it yourself or you can also come into different communities. We have one on our, in our Facebook group. I also have several in my Voxers. So I'll like go and have a walk and every single person has this like every single person even the people that you see show up like completely confident and that you see them you know not having any sort of like they have an upper limit problem like every single person has this limit that they've put on themselves there's a certain limit that they think they can charge there's a certain limit that they think of success that's not greedy or that's whatever it is um everyone has it and so i want you to give your permission yourself permission to 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 realize that you know and so um, in order to break free from this you need to kind of battle those old feelings with words but also with relationships and then also with getting comfortable with the uncomfortable and that stretch is when you're going to grow and I hope this is helpful for you because I think that if you go back to some of the earlier episodes I believe it was episode 53 is going to tell you more specific self-sabotaging behaviors that you can notice because if you can become aware of them then you'll know how to switch them over or to swap them with more healthy and um really behaviors that are going to serve you better. And then if you catch yourself doing this, I will help you too. So come on over to 
uh, Instagram at control the chaos mama and tell me because I can help you to kind of unpack that and we can work through it together. This is actually going to be a really big part of our control the chaos course that's coming out that is going to be all about confidence. It's going to be called chaos to confidence and it's going to really make us work from the inside out to deal with a lot of the things that are keeping us stuck. And so a lot of us have told ourselves these different self-limiting stories and it's time for the liberating truths to come out. Okay, if you are ready to jump on to that as well, shoot me an email at info at angelmcelhaney.com. I can't wait to hear from you guys. And of course, if you are hearing this podcast and you find something valuable, go ahead and take a screenshot, share it in your stories, tag me. I always share them too. And I love hearing what you're thinking of the show. Um, And I just want to connect with you because I think that if I've learned anything through all the things that I've went through, through losing my mom, through having four kids ranging from two to 17, is that it takes people. People are what help you get through the hard stuff. Um, And so if you can connect more deeply to yourself and these other people and to God, then I think that you can get through it. And so it's not about always wanting to change yourself, but I do think it's about having contentment about where you are and realizing that we are meant to grow and that we are meant to take one step at a time towards what we want. And so if you are ready for more of this Break Free series, come back next week because we are going to talk about so much goodness in this, how to push back some money mindset blocks, break free from money mindset junk (laughs) that is keeping us stuck, as well as many other things. And so come and check us out. Um, Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week.